I developed a 40-day joy challenge from several decades of research, working with individuals, working with couples, working with parents, um, working with leaders from over 30 different industries. And I found that they all had one thing in common. Um, they wanted to succeed, sure, but they wanted something more. They wanted something deeper, something lasting. They wanted more joy. And what I found was, whether you're talking about marriage or business or parenting, um, or really any aspect of life, there's this tendency to focus on what's missing and what's deficient versus what's sufficient and what's present. It's so easy to focus on the blemishes and miss the blessings. And it's, it's a part of our human nature. And if we're not aware of it, then that part of our human nature tends to dominate even our faith. And so the 40 day joy challenge gives the repetition um, in a very doable and usable uh, format that allows people to get immersed in joy and focus on what's working, focus on the goodness that God has put in their life. And it doesn't force anybody to forget about their problems or ignore their problems or bury their head in the sand or anything like that. It just reminds them that life is good and bad. Life is a mixture of good and bad. It always will be. It will never change. But our emotional state at any given moment, how much joy we have, is going to be dependent upon whether we're focusing on what's broken or what's working really well, what we love about our spouse or what really irritates us about our spouse, what we're looking forward to or what we're dreading. And all those things are, are circulating all the time. Life is a mixture of good and bad and to develop joy to the max, to maximize your, your full potential for joy, you have to train yourself to look out for the good, to be on the lookout for the things that are lovely and pure and true and gracious and just. And the Apostle Paul gave us this wisdom. The Apostle Paul laid out in Philippians 4.8 great advice to help us with our thought life. And I'm pretty sure that he laid out this advice to help us in our thought life because it's our thought life that leads to our emotional life. And so over the years as I've worked with all these different leaders, personally and professionally, I see this big deficit of joy. And then I see this disconnect. All these people want joy. These are good people with good intentions, many very, very successful, but they've got a deficit of joy. So why is that? Well, there's a disconnect somehow between what they want and what they believe will get them there. And, and the disconnect is the lack of connection between their thought life and their emotional life. And that's what the 40 Day Joy Challenge bridges. It bridges the gap between what we're thinking and what we're feeling. See, our thoughts lead to our emotions. And a better way to say it even is, we feel what we dwell upon. Our emotions allow us, this is so key. I don't think very few people at all, even believers realize this. Our emotions allow us to feel what we've been thinking about. Our emotions allow us to feel what we've been thinking about. I researched all through the Old Testament and the New Testament, and I couldn't find any instance in Scripture where we were instructed to make decisions or take action based on how we felt. The Bible clearly instructs us to make choices, to take action based on Scripture, on the guidelines and principles that God lays out through the Old Testament and the New Testament. Yet, today in the world, I mean, you, you can look around and you see most people are making decisions based on how they feel at any given moment. They're making very emotional decisions. And when we look back on our life, we see that the the worst decisions and the best decisions that we ever made have one thing in common, and that is they began with a thought. And so we want to push everybody to be very deliberate, maybe even picky about their thought life. Why? Because if they're picky about their thought life, they're going to produce emotional blessings, foremost amongst them, joy. And that's what the 40 Day Joy Challenge is all about.